Okay, so last time, sorry, sorry, last time I chose, I chose, uh, I chose uh, consumption and GDP as dependent variable, but this time this time I shall choose export as dependent variable export as a dependent variable okay so I go to quick then estimate bar then I choose vector error correction model because all the variables are co-integrated. So I put export first as a dependent variable, then cons and GDP as a independent variable. So that is our model and export is the dependent variable. Consumption and GDP are independent variable. Then, uh, then, then I, I, I run the model. This is our vector error correction model, right? You can see. And the first model, actually, our target model. The first model is our target model because export is the dependent variable. But here is no p value. So I go to proc, I go to max system, order by variable, and the first model actually our target variable. This is our target variable. So I copy it, I copy the whole thing, then I go to quick, then estimate model, then I paste it, I paste it. So this is our my model, right? This is my model, and I press OK. So this is the result of the whole model comes up. Right? This is the outcomes of the model. And here you can see that is C1. The what is C1? C1 is the coefficient of the error, error, error term. That is C1. The sign is negative and also it is significant the coefficient sign is negative and also significant meaning that meaning meaning what meaning that i'm sorry sorry uh sorry is why is the model okay just yes here i come back here okay meaning that I'm saying what C1 is negative and significant meaning that there is a there is a long run causality running from GDP and running from uh, running from GDP and consumption to export right why because the c1 is negative and significant so there is a long run causality running from gdp and consumption to export it is our export right it is our export and the, and the, and the export is the dependent variable Okay, now now I, I I talk about short run causality as before, short run causality using world statistics, right? World statistics and short run causality. Okay, so so first I talk about uh, this one, the cons. That means C four and C five right c4 and c5 so the first i talk about cons right which is uh, there are 
two coefficient whether c4 equal to c5 or not and that is our null hypothesis whether c4 and c5 jointly are zero or not that we want to check that we want to check using world statistics okay i go to view then i go to coefficient and diagnostic then wall test right then i put c4 equal to c c5 equal to 0 or not that i check c4 c5 okay then i press okay, okay here the wall test and uh, the the how much is the probability value less than 5 percent right less than 5 percent so we can reject our null hypothesis meaning that c4 and c5 are not jointly zero they are not zero meaning that meaning that it it means that meaning that there is a short run causality running from consumption to export so that is the decision so what is that what is the what is the uh, thing the decision is there is a short run causality running from consumption to export okay then our second variable uh, is what second variable is gdp right second variable is the gdp and uh, and uh, and and what is what is our model this our model so what is gdp c6 and c7 you can see from here c6 and c7 so in case of gdp the null hypothesis is c6 equal to c7 sorry is it zero or not that is the null hypothesis c6 and c7 zero or not that is the our null hypothesis to be tested so i go to view as before then i go to coefficient diagnostic then wall test as before then i write c6 equal to c7 equal to zero right that is our null hypothesis right c6 and c7 right okay wall test and it is the null hypothesis c6 c7 0 but the p value is very small it is less than 5 percent so we can reject null hypothesis meaning that c6 and c7 jointly are not zero so meaning that there is a short run causality running from gdp to export so there is a short run causality running from gdp to export okay so what is our summary of this model what is summary of this model the summary of this model is number one sorry number one there is a long run causality running from GDP and cons to export. So that is the first summary. There is a long run causality running from GDP and cons to export. And 
and what about the second summary there is a short run causality running from cons and gdp to export right so so this is the summary this is the summary of this model okay then then i check the the statistical point of view statistical point of view right statistical point of view about this model right statistical point of view what uh, so these are model right statistical point of view what is happening here so the, the this is our model and export is the dependent variable and here r square is how much oh it is very low only 43.77 percent so we are not happy about it but the thing is that f statistics is significant because uh, because the value is less than five percent so we are happy about it because f statistics is significant okay then i go to view then residual diagnostic i go to serial correlations so i press okay okay you see the observed r square the 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 value of p what is the value of p for this model i can check from here the value of p of this uh, model is uh, the p value is uh, 0 0.3559 meaning that 35.59 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypo hypothesis meaning that this model does not have any serial correlation so we are happy about this model because there is no serial correlations then we talk about the residual diagnosis talk about the test of heteroscedasticity right and here i choose the, the, the this test press okay okay the observed r square how much is the p value p value here is coming p is coming how much 19.81 percent p is 19.81 percent meaning that more than 5 percent meaning that this model does not have any heteroscedasticity meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity in this model so we are happy about this model <coughs> excuse me and finally i check the test of normality of this model test of uh, normality i go to view then residual diagnostic test of normality it is here you can see the jarkabera statistics and corresponding p value how much is the p value for this model 24.13 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that the residuals are normally distributed meaning that the residuals are normally distributed so uh, for this model the everything is fine there is no serial correlation there is no heteroscedasticity and the residuals are normally distributed and the f statistics is significant so all are good all are good for this model so we are happy about this model